So far we've brought in about 5,000 animals into Maputo National Park. Uh, we do a aerial census every year, a helicopter full park census, and over the last uh, two years we've seen that the population growth has been 30% each year, which shows that they've done very well. Uh, we've brought back species such as uh, waterbuck, oribi, eland, giraffe and the plains game species which didn't survive the history of this park. And those have obviously done very well as mentioned. Elephants have done particularly well in this landscape of Maputo National Park. Through ANAC there's now even a program to capture some of those elephants and move them to third parks further north in the country and that just goes to show the success of conservation here in the south of Mozambique and the intention of the government to expand the, the population of elephants throughout the country. We've almost completed our Plains Game relocation program. We've only got some more buffalo and eland to relocate so we can get those numbers up to an acceptable number that will show good growth for the future. And now we need to focus on the carnivores. So we've brought in cheetah this year and we'll bring in another in the year to come. And that'll help stabilize the population and get a good uh, ecological balance. We do already have some leopard and some hyena in Maputo National Park. And we also need to start looking at uh, supplementing that population so that it becomes to a reasonable population size that those numbers can, can also increase. And then of course your whole park will become into a, an ecological balance of your predators and your prey and obviously your landscapes because we don't want uh, a dominance of either one of those. By reintroducing wildlife to ecosystems where the species once thrived, biodiversity is once again restored whilst the potential for securing the future of the protected areas through ecotourism is increased exponentially.